are four minutes past six. The South African sprinter Oscar Pistorius has criticised the International Paralympic Committee after he suffered a shock defeat in the T44 200 metres for lower leg amputees. He accused the IPC of allowing the gold medal winner, the Brazilian Alan Oliveira, to run on what he's calling unbelievably long mm. carbon fibre blades. Well, Mike Bushell is at the Olympic Park for us now. Um, very good morning to you, Mike. Was Oscar Pistorius being a sore loser or does he have a point? Well, Susanna and Bill and everybody, this has been a bit of a grey area for some time, hasn't it? These carbon fibre blades, and it's back in the headlines again. On his part, after he suffered what was really a big shock, the defeat in the final of his 200 metres, Pistorius said, we're not running a fair race because he claims that Oliveira's knee heights are four inches higher than they should be. And this was after Oliveira came storming back from eight metres down after the first 100 metres. And Pistorius is claiming these guys are a lot taller, so he can't compete. However, the IPC insists all blades have adhered to strict regulations. There is this rule in place which is determined based on a formula based on the height and dynamics of the athletes and apparently all athletes were measured as normal or were approved for competition. Oliveira himself said to an interpreter, the length of my blades are all right, I've been using them already for a whole month. Uh, but this isn't the first time that Pistorius hasn't been involved in a row about blades. You may recall in 2008 he was actually banned from competing in able-bodied events after it was ruled that his blades gave him an unfair advantage. But that ban was overturned and he could of course compete at the Olympics this summer. Uh, he didn't make the final, of course, did he? Uh, today, there will be a meeting of the IPC to consider the issues again without what they say uh, the emotions of the race involved. So we'll have to see what comes of that. And actually, we mustn't let it overshadow what was another fantastic day for Paralympics GB with that haul of seven gold medals. They're up to second in the table. And at half six, I'll be looking back at some of the highlights. Yeah, we'll see you then. And thanks very much, Mike.